Finally, drone footage revealed the construction on Saudi Arabia as the line actually started. The project has been heavily debated in recent months. Most said it's too gigantic to build, and some said Saudi Arabia is promising too much in very little time. But now that construction has actually begun, how will it turn out? Could it be the greatest mega project ever, or will the line become a trillion dollar failure or eventually be abandoned? Let's find out. The line was first revealed in July 2021 by Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, and the exact plan was revealed in July 2022. This project immediately became viral with nearly 50 million YouTube views. Not only because it's the most insane mega project ever, but it also introduces humanity to the next level. He proposed a 170-kilometer long line with a width of 200 meters and a height of 500 meters. There will be no cars driven in this linear city, and everything will be within a 5-minute walking distance. Residents can also travel from one end of this 170-kilometer long city to the other within just 20 minutes. This city will entirely run on renewable energy generated by wind and solar farms. For water, the city will use a carbon-free desalination plant, making the line a zero-carbon city. The Saudi prince hopes to attract 9 million people to his line project, as well as creating 380,000 jobs within it. According to the Saudi crown prince, the line will be completed in 2030. But the trailer leaves everyone with one question, is this project really being built, or is it just a marketing stunt to get international attention? However, three months after the trailer launched, everything changed on October 19, 2022. Official drone footage insight was released by Saudi Arabia, and this video surprised everyone. The foundation of the line is clearly visible in the video, and a large number of machines are digging the shape of the mega project. This shoot shows they have already gone a long distance, almost reaching the mountains in the background. And in this time-lapse, you can see hundreds of excavators are required to lay the foundation of the line project. We believe the line is around this position on Google Maps. There are multiple developments visible, there is a whole site for offices and camps close to the mountains, a neon community with a football field, and an NEOM experience center. Since these images are not up to date, there are a lot more by now. So now that construction has really started, how could it turn out? According to some experts, it's impossible to build this futuristic city with the technology we have today. The line project will face many challenges. We believe there are four possible scenarios that could happen with the line. The first scenario is that the project actually turns out like all the trailers we have seen by now. Saudi Arabia is making some incredible claims here, stating that they can build a project of this magnitude that no one has seen before. But perhaps if the country puts all of its resources into its ambitious plans, it will succeed. However, this scenario appears to be quite unrealistic. Certain aspects of their plan, like a car-free city or using 100% renewable energy, are quite feasible. But when you consider the actual size of the line, it seems illogical to believe that this project will succeed. The line would be 500 meters tall, roughly the same height as One World Trade Center, and it took eight years to build it. While the linear city is essentially a 170-kilometer long skyscraper which contains a strip of nearly 2,000 World Trade Centers, and since there are two lines parallel to each other, so there are 4,000 World Trade Centers.